lesson 18 religious and social reformers my dear student these are the great people who devoted their lives to improving society so they were called reformers who gave society a new way of thinking we had a large number of such great people in india but in this chapter we will learn about some of them so let's begin number 1 raja ram mohan roy raja ram mohan roy was born on 22nd may 1772 in bengal he was an indian reformer who was one of the founders of the brahmo sabha the persecution of brahmo samaj a social religious reform movement in the indian subcontinent he was given the title of raja by the mughal emperor akbar ii his influence was a part in the fields of politics public administration education and religion he was responsible for the removal of several harmful social and religious practices he is best known for his fight against the cruel practice of sati sati was the practice of burning individuals alive along with the bodies of their dead husbands on the funeral pyre This was an inhuman custom practice in India. Raja Ram Mohan Roy's efforts were successful as the British government passed a law in 1829 abolishing the practice of sati and making it an illegal act. He was also against early marriage and wanted girls to be educated. He opened school for girls so that they got equal edge opportunities as men. He was a learned man and used to religious scriptures to urge against the orthodox or old fashion section of society to create a more liberal and modern society he wanted western learning to be included in the traditional system of education he was of the opinion that indians would be left behind and would not be able to compete with others if they did not adopt the modern education system Raja Ram Mohan Roy wished to reform the Indian society which was dominated by the upper caste and had several superstitious rituals he started the Brahmo Samaj which was a new religious order in this samaj there was no worship of gods or things associated with worship anyone could join it through a simple method the simple religious beliefs and prayers of the Brahmo Samaj appealed to the people in Bengal women were treated very well there and allowed a lot of freedom he is regarded as the father of indian renaissance as he brought about a change in society he was the greatest fighter of for women rights his contributions especially to the freedom of women will be remembered forever number 2 dayanand saraswati he was an indian philosopher social leader and founder of the arya samaj a reform movement of the vedic dharma he was the first to give the call for swaraj as india for indians in 1876 later on it was taken up by the lokmanya tilak he was born on 12 february 1824 in tankara gujarat and died on 30th october 1883 his real name was mul shankar He established the Arya Samaj or Society of Nobles on 7th April 1875 in Bombay. He was given the title of Mahasi and was thought of as one of the makers of modern India. It was a Hindu reform movement started in 1875 which wanted people to be free of the domination of the upper caste and rituals. The Arya Samaj condemned idol worship animal sacrifice caste system child marriage etc then and others were believed that none of these actions received sanction from the vedas the most sacred and ancient text of the hindus he believed in simple prayers arya samaj became very popular in north india especially among the ordinary people who were tired of spending a lot of money on rituals He also believed in changing society through education. Some of the followers later founded the Dayanand Anglo Vedic DAV schools all over the North India. These schools run even today and provide a good mix of traditional and modern education. He wanted women to be educated and wanted the Vedas to be
translated from Sanskrit to Hindi so that the common people would be able to read them. Pandita Ramabai Pandita Ramabai Saraswati was born on 23rd April 1858 and died on 5th April 1922. She was an Indian social reformer, a pioneer in the education and emancipation of women in India. She was the first woman to be awarded the titles of Pandita as a Sanskrit scholar and Saraswati after being examined by the faculty of the University of Calcutta. She was a poet and fighter for women's rights. She was a scholar at a time when women were not encouraged to study. In fact, her father was thrown out of his house because he had injured people by educating his wife. Ramabai could recite 20,000 verses by the age of 15, though she faced numerous social taboos and she tried to improve the position of women in society. She founded the Arya Mahila Samaj in Pune and later the Sharda Shadan, a shelter home for widows. She worked for poor women and widows as she felt they were no neglected by society. She helped to find jobs for widows so that they would not be de dependent on their families. She started school for girls and inspired them to educate themselves. She wrote a number of books in Marathi and Hindi. Sir Sayyid Ahmed Khan Sir Sayyid Ahmed Khan was born in 1817. He was a very well respected man in the field of education in the Muslim community. After the revolt of 1857, the British did not encourage education among the Muslims. Sir Sayyid Ahmed Khan wanted all the such ideas to be removed through modern education. He founded the Aligarh Muslim University and had the community get scientific and modern education so that they would not lag behind. He also worked for the betterment of women by fighting against the Purda system and only marriage. He wanted girls to be educated and establish schools for both boys and girls. He challenged the rigidity that had set in the society like Raja Ram Mohan Rai and Dhanan Saraswati. Sir Sayed also believed that any change in society was only possible through education and improvement in the position of women. All the social and religious reformers had made a new path for society to follow to move from the dark days of ignorance to the light of knowledge. Their contribution made the path of freedom easier for Indians. Thank you.